Books. I'm Naomi Libby with Usborne Books and More and I am so excited to show you some of our newest fiction and picture books. Starting out with our babies, our newest in the That's Not My series is That's Not My Sloth. So these books always have bold black lines around the illustrations, a touchy-feely patch, and a little mouse to find on every page. So they're very interactive, a great introduction to these books for little ones. They are lots of fun to read together. Another series for babies and toddlers is our Little Lift and Look series. This is like an introduction to flat books. It's got great flaps that are always on the edges of the pages, so they're easy for them to manipulate, but they're nice and thick, so they're not going to rip easily. The illustrations are nice and colorful and beautiful. It's a nice little size for their hands. These books are amazing. These books would make amazing Valentine's gifts or just anytime gifts for someone that you love. They are adorable books that celebrate beautiful pairings and partnerships with fun little punny sayings. There's little peek throughs on each page. They're beautiful and colorful. They're really adorable. This one is You Complete Me. Don't not worry, you make me feel whole. <laughs> so, so cute. These are adorable. Another great new book that I am loving is Where's Lenny? This is a really cute picture book about Lenny and his mom and dad playing hide and seek. What child does not love hide and seek? So now they can read a story about Lenny and his family playing their favorite game. It is beautiful, it is colorful, and it is a really, really fun bedtime story. I wanna show you a couple of our newest Read With Usborne books. These are our leveled readers. There are four in total for different stages of learning to read. I'm gonna show you inside the first two. So here's one of our level one readers, How the Crab Got His Claws. As you can see, there's not a ton of text on each page, so it's not overwhelming. Lots of great illustrations. These are a great starter book. Level two, again, beautiful illustrations, but as you can see, there's a few more words on each page. So as you can see, the difficulty will increase as the book level increases to help them as they're growing in their reading skills. This is another highly anticipated book, Beast Beast. If your family loved Dragon Post, you're going to want to grab this one. This is the story of Beast who wants to invite his friends for dinner and that's dinner. <laughs> he writes to all of his friends and the fun letters that we open are his monster friends responding to his invitation. So he and dinner actually go on a lot of fun adventures together as he hears back from his friends. And by the end of it, he kind of decides that he doesn't really want to eat dinner anymore. So they make a feast for his friends of regular food. <laughs> it's a really, really cute read. Another great interactive book is This is Frog. This follows on the heels of This is Owl. This book is highly interactive as far as your kids reading the book. So there's a lot of fun things that it will tell your child to do as you're reading. Um, for example, mm, delicious, the other flies are buzzing off. Tap them as fast as you can to show Frog where to find the rest of his meal. So they're gonna tap on the page or on this page it says tilt the page to help frog move closer so all kinds of interaction like that beautiful vibrant colors these books my kids always ask to read them over again another great new book that we have talking about our feelings is this one red 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 which is about a little boy throwing a tantrum so this is a great one to start talking with your child about their feelings as they are experiencing them as little ones. We know that they don't really know, always know what to do with their feelings. So in this one, the mama helps him to count to 10. And as he goes through, he calms down, he's able to think clearly and move past that tantrum. Another great new book is this one called Best Behavior. This is a rhyming uh, picture book, but it's talking about how to be on our best behavior as we go throughout our day. Washing and brushing our teeth, combing our hair, going to school, how to behave in all of the different scenarios that we meet in our lives. So this is a great one as we talk to our kids about 
um, what behaviors we expect in certain places, and how they can have a wonderful day with their being on their best behavior. Another great picture book that we have now is The Biggest Story. And this is about a little boy who wants his mommy to tell him a story. She's a little busy, so she tells him to think up a story instead. So his story gets bigger and bigger and adds more and more animals. And he tells his story to his mama at the end of the day, and she absolutely loves it. Here we go, we can read his story. One thing that I really loved about this book is that actually at the end, it gives prompts for your child to tell their own story. So they're gonna choose a name and then it gives them all of these options to come up with different aspects of the story to tell their own. So we read a story and then it teaches your child how to tell their own amazing story. The last book I wanna show you today is The Big Book of Nursery Rhymes. These are beautiful cardstock paged books, so they're nice and sturdy. Beautiful illustrations with some of our favorite classic nursery rhymes. So if you love to read these with your child at bedtime or anytime, this would be a great one to add to your library. So I hope that you've enjoyed this look inside some of our newest fiction and picture books.